Game day is almost here. Good evening, everybody. I'm Chris Kent. And I am Bria Berry. The Chiefs are one win away from proving they are the best in the AFC, and we know Sunday's matchup won't be easy. Rescue crews are on the scene of a possible drowning. Again, a live look at the scene here where authorities are setting up police tape. We are working to learn more about what happened here, but as you can see, it's a very active scene. It says USPS package arrived at the warehouse. Turns out this is fake. One, two, three, four, five. I mean, I am loaded with these messages. We have mashed potatoes, stuffing, uh, cornbread, and even desserts. I think the best part about this assignment is seeing the smiling faces. And I just met a little guy. His name is Luttrell. Hi, Luttrell. Shots were fired west of Union Station near the garage. Multiple people were struck. Um, we know police took two armed people into custody for more investigation. Coach Reed, three Super Bowl victories as a head coach. And as you can see, the players are coming off the plane. I mean, it's just an exciting time yeah. to be in Kansas City right now. The number one question a lot of people are asking is about the donor funds. What does this mean for the millions of dollars raised for the Biden campaign. Bria? Hi! Hello! Okay, so I'm totally living all of my childhood dreams right now. Joining me is Stacia. How are you? Good. Hi, hi. Ava? Hi. These are my new friends. Are you guys excited about Boulevardia? You come home every day and there's color in your yard and you see your plants growing, it's just a lovely feeling. A feeling Gail Williams does not take for granted because the past few months haven't been so rosy. It goes to show that everything that glitters isn't always gold. Gail, a part-time administrative assistant, had no idea the 2016 Hyundai Elantra she just bought was a gold mine for thieves. If I had to just listen to my son, I did like the car better. It's just that I thought this was a good deal. A deal that left Gail full of confusion and regret. She paid $25,000 for the car, but was then denied coverage from several major providers. Progressive, State Farm, AARP, and AAA. I have good driving record. I didn't understand why they did not want to insure the car for me. All of the insurance companies denied coverage for one reason, the alarming rate of stolen Hyundais in Gail's neighborhood. I've seen a lot of rejections for them. Um, I'll get a note saying that the vehicle is not eligible because of the high theft rate. Rusty Arrington is a 10-year insurance broker. He also has a hard time getting full coverage for his Kia and Hyundai clients. Most of the time I have to send them back to the dealership to have the dealership put full coverage on the vehicle. Kansas City, Missouri police say it all started in 2021 when a social media video showed just how easy it is to steal certain Kia and Hyundai models. Since then, Kansas City has seen an increase in car thefts. Nearly 8,000 cars were stolen in the city in one year. Of those, about half were Hyundais and Kias. And consumers like Gail are paying the price. I feel like the damage is done, that I'm stuck in this position, but I don't want this to happen to anyone else. This made me physically ill. And after several attempts, State Farm finally approved full coverage for Gail's car, but with conditions. Gail had to install Hyundai's anti-theft software and a steering wheel lock. It was a horrible purchase. I regret it every day and wish I could turn back the hands of time. And it wasn't long until the very thing Gail and her insurance company feared happened, and it was caught on camera. Now, vehicle thefts have increased nationwide over the last few years, with Missouri ranking in the top 10. As you saw in that video, Gail's car has already been targeted. Her next steps and the best way you can keep your vehicle safe tomorrow night at 6. Well, Laura and Chris have gotten one of these text messages. So have I. In fact, you can see it here. It says USPS package arrived at the warehouse. Turns out this is fake. One, two, three, four, five. I mean, I am loaded with these messages. And that happened to a young woman. She found out the hard way. Headed to the big city. Carolyn Russell leaving Kansas City to move back home where she has landed her dream job. And I'm starting my job as a speech language pathologist um, back in Chicago. So I'm really excited to get going on that. Russell, a Mizzou grad, has spent the last two years with roommates preparing for the real world. So I feel like finally all my hard work has paid off. A great accomplishment, but then this. Russell was waiting for her little sister's package in the mail. Timely, she got this message with a link. 
Reading, USPS package arrived at the warehouse but could not be delivered. She thought it was legit. Um, so I put in my credit card information and then um, a few weeks later I got a call from Chase that said someone was charged $313 um, from Texas. And it happened so quickly. The, the real life hack on this is to do something we don't typically do in the digital age is to slow down. So when you have a text like this, look and see, is this really from the post office? Just in 30 days, Tenfold Security founder Aaron Weisenflu says his company has received nearly 225,000 financial scams. 419 were credible, highly targeted attacks. Thankfully, Russell got our money back, but it's still a headache. People work hard for their money and they shouldn't try to scam money away from people that they earned. And it's a real problem. I asked my Facebook followers if they have received a fake UPS text. And look at the feedback here. I mean, we're talking about nearly 120 comments. So many people saying that they have received a number of these text messages. And as you can see, again, it's a problem. It's why, one of the reasons why we are warning you tonight, telling you about the scam and the ways to look for it. Mm -hmm. Lara, mm -hmm. Chris. You